Man, that rain is coming down hard outside, but that's not gonna stop me from talking about the final trailer for X-Men Apocalypse since the movie comes out in about a month from now. And yeah, I didn't talk about the second trailer for the film because I felt it was just more of the same from the first one, but this third trailer I felt had enough new stuff to talk about, so let's jump into this one. So the trailer starts out talking about Apocalypse and Sabanora, Poe Dameron, whatever you want to call him. I think Oscar Isaac looks really good in the role of Apocalypse. People are comparing him to Ivan Ooze from Power Rangers because he does look kind of goofy or silly in a way, but I personally don't think he looks that bad, and because Oscar Isaac is a really good actor, I think he'll be fine. He looks really evil too. I like what they're doing with his voice. He, his voice seems to be different in every trailer, even though he says the same line in every trailer. Everything they've built will fall! Just makes me wonder how his voice is gonna turn out in the final product. You see a lot more of Mystique in this trailer, and people are... I, they're saying they're getting tired of her. They're comparing her to Katniss Everdeen because it's Jennifer Lawrence and some for some reason people say they're getting tired of her, which I don't get at all. It's Jennifer Lawrence. She's always been a badass. I still love, she's one of my favorite actresses. Maybe I'm being too nice, but what can I say? I'm a nice guy. I want to see Mystique take charge. Another thing we see is Magneto becoming one of the four horsemen. You know, Apocalypse's four followers. In this movie, you got Storm, Archangel, Psylocke, and Magneto. They're going to be the four horsemen in the movie. Charles Xavier is trying to convince Magneto not to join him, to which Magneto responds, Whatever it is, you you think you saw in me. I buried it with my family. Damn. Poor guy, his life sucks. Although he was pretty badass in Days of Future Past. Speaking of Days of Future Past, it's awesome to see Quicksilver again. He was one of my favorite characters in that movie. And there was a line in that film where he's talking to Magneto, he's all like, you can move metal? My mom knew a guy who could do that. Because in the comics, Magneto is the father of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. And so in X-Men Apocalypse, we're finally like, okay, this is how it is. You see Quicksilver talking to Mystique, he's all like, oh yeah, by the way, Magneto, he's my father. The first time I watched this trailer, I said, what? Right along with Mystique. So I wonder how that's going to play into this film. Is there gonna be a scene where, like, Quicksilver confronts Magneto or something like that? Does Magneto know that he's Quicksilver's father? How does Quicksilver know? I'm pretty sure these questions will be answered in the film. You know who else I like seeing in this trailer? Nightcrawler. Because he's a character we haven't seen since, what, X2? Too. And here he's played by that kid from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I can't wait to see him be a badass. He's gonna be like a Zazel from first class. In fact, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Nightcrawler the son of a Zazel or something like that? Eh, it's all comic book stuff, I don't know. And Psylocke, she's one of the characters I'm looking forward to the most in this film because I've always loved Psylocke. The fact that she's being played by Olivia Munn just makes me look forward to her even more. I like watching that scene where she's fighting Beast in this trailer and then she looks up at him and she smiles. I'm like, Psylocke? You're hot. This movie looks like it's gonna be really good. I don't know if it'll be as good as Days of Future Past or as complex, but one thing I've noticed that Brian Singer does really well in these X-Men movies is tension. The feeling of suspense, you know, you just don't know if they're gonna make it through. The dire hopelessness of the situation, and I love that shit. So as long as this movie has that, and it is being directed by Brian Singer, so yeah, it should be a damn good time. And then of course, the last thing you see in this trailer is... Well, you've been busy. We had a little help. Wolverine's back and he has metal claws this time. He's probably not gonna be in too much of the movie. It might just be for like one scene and that's it. Which, whatever, I'm fine with it because Apocalypse and Psylocke and everything else in the movie, that should be really cool. The thing that has me scratching my head about this film is that we know the X-Men are going to beat Apocalypse, right? Because the timeline is this movie takes place in the 80s and we saw at the end of Future Past that everyone's fine and learning in their school. Professor X and Jean Grey and Cyclops and Beast and Wolverine, they're all fine. I'm sorry if you feel that I just ruined it for you, but it's already been ruined. Unless they kill off Professor X or something like that, create another alternate timeline, and then we just gotta do the whole continuity error thing again. Who the hell knows? But X-Men Apocalypse looks really good, and I wanna know what you guys think. So, the final trailer for X-Men Apocalypse. Have you seen it, and what did you think about it? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And, don't forget to subscribe.